Hi LEGO fans, it's going to be a really short video but I wanted to share something unusual with you. One of my favourite cities in the world is London. When I'm there I like to go and see all the sights including Big Ben, The Shard, The London Eye and of course Buckingham Palace. That's where you see a lot of these guys. Unfortunately for me on this occasion, the closest I got to London was the M25 and London Heathrow Terminal 2. It was not the happiest of trips but sometimes clouds have a silver lining, so I was really pleased to find a Hamleys store at Heathrow Terminal 2. Hamleys is a pretty special place. It's the oldest and largest toy shop in the world and was founded by William Hamley in 1760. That's 16 years before the Declaration of Independence in America. The flagship Hamleys store in London moved to Regent Street in 1881 and it's visited by as many as 5 million visitors each year. Of course, like most British institutions, it's no longer owned by Great Britain. It was sold in June 2003 to an Icelandic investment company and we all know what happened to Icelandic investment companies during the financial crisis. The Hamleys Toy Group has had several owners since and it's now owned by a large Chinese footwear and fashionwear conglomerate based out of Nanjing. So it's only appropriate that Hamleys are selling this exclusive Royal Guard minifigure. These retail for about six great British pounds and you can only buy them at Hamleys. So I thought it would be fun to grab a few of these to share with you on my channel. I'm going to open up one of these for you now, keep another one for my collection and the other two are going on eBay. I've got to try and recruit some of the airfare somehow. The art on the bag is pretty eye catching with the Hamleys logo up in the top right hand corner and their tagline the finest toy shop in the world. This also confirms they were established in 1760 which makes Hamleys about 258 years old. This is a five piece set so no speed build is going to be required today. And as well as the picture of the Royal Guard we get a cartoon skyline of London. I definitely see Tower Bridge, Big Ben, the Shard, that building over there on the right with the flags is Hamleys and finally we have the Gherkin where the Lord Mayor's office is. There's nothing really very exciting on the back. Like every LEGO product we have a set number, in this case we're looking at set number 5005233. That's a lot of numbers. We also have lots of words confirming sadly that this guy was not made in Billund, Denmark. He was actually made in China. No disrespect to the Chinese but you might want to let some other people make stuff. And finally we have a sad onion reminding us not to feed LEGO to the under threes. Time to tear this thing open and put the Royal Guard together. Music please! And here's the completed Royal Guard, he's a really sharp looking minifigure. Now those of you who collect the collectible minifigure series, you may think you recognise this guy. Yes there was a Royal Guard in minifigure series 5 and this one looks very similar. But Lego have changed just enough things to make him different. The Hamleys Guard has a very slight smile which the series 5 minifigure did not. That guy was just a little bit frowny. You'll also notice the metallic detail at the collar is silver rather than gold and the detailing on the belt has been updated for the Hamleys Guard. The spacing of the buttons is slightly different and the Hamleys Guard has gained two medals that the Series 5 minifigure didn't have. The final thing you'll notice between the Series 5 Guard and the Hamleys Guard is the lack of a weapon. The Guard in the collectible minifigure series came with a brown rifle. Taking a closer look, the first thing you're going to notice is this bare skin hat, which I think is the same element as the one that came with the Series 5 minifigure. Taking that off, we can see there's only one expression on the face, but we've got a really kind of stern but almost smiling expression there. Now, considering the guards aren't meant to smile, that's actually quite a nice thing there. Um, we do also have the strap, which is meant to be coming down from the bare skin, and that is very nicely detailed in gold and black. You can just see the metallics there shining in the light. We've also got metallics on the front of the uniform there for the gold buttons, the gold medals and the gold buckle on the belt and a little bit of silver detailing there around the collar. The pants are completely black, uh, it would have actually been nice to have seen a red stripe down the side, I think that's appropriate for the uniform that these guys wear but we do have the white gloves and all together he's a really nice minifigure. Another thing that I really like about this package is that we get a minifigure display stand. We don't usually get one of these unless it's one of the collectible minifigure series so it's really nice to have that in this Hamley special. That's going to make it really easy for me to put this guy inside my minifigure display cabinet. 
So final thoughts on the Hamley's Royal Guard minifigure exclusive. I really, really like this minifigure. The printing's really crisp, I love the theming in terms of London, and it's always very cool when you can pick up something exclusive that you just can't buy elsewhere. Value for money? At six great British pounds, it's way overpriced. But to be perfectly honest, nearly everything in Hamleys is. When you go to Hamleys, you go there for the experience and the huge array of toys that they have within. It's not usually somewhere you go to get great value for money. So this guy is really cool. I'm so pleased I finally got him for my collection. And six pounds or no six pounds, I've no regrets. I really hope you enjoyed this short format video and feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments below. Of course, if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I try and release two videos a week and you're going to find more than 220 videos on my channel. Those range in part count from this little guy at five pieces all the way to the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon with 7,541 pieces. So there's a wide variety of content out there for you guys to enjoy. Thanks a million for checking out today's review video, stay safe and God save the Queen!